for why you did what you did. Now, next week, Gabby and Eric, I guess the biggest question is, are they gonna get engaged? Are they gonna propose? Are they gonna break up? Same thing with Rachel and Tino. We have five clips to go through. We're gonna be giving our fast reactions and take a few of, few of you more of your questions before we go. So let's take a look at this first clip. Gabby and Rachel being ready for proposals. I do want a proposal from him. Okay, Kayla, are they getting engaged? Yes or no? In this moment? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think they're both getting engaged. I do. Um, okay. I don't know. It's funny when I hear when I hear Gabby. Well, let me not let me not taint it. I have my own thoughts about Gabby and Eric. I do think they'll get engaged though. But Allison, what do you okay. think? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think two proposals, two engagements. I think. Only Gabby and Eric will be together for AFR. Okay, let's take a look at this next clip. Are Tino and Eric really ready? Like, I'm so sick of this. I just really need to tell you something that's been weighing on me. There's no way this works out. <laughs> Nobody can tell me I'm So these fights are so intense, and these fights are making us think that they're not going to get engaged, because why does it have to be so dramatic when there's one guy left? But then we, but the thing that makes me think they're going to get engaged is that they're, they are dressed up. Like we saw both of them in that final rose ceremony situation. You know, if they were going to break up, like they wouldn't be breaking up. They would, we, you know what I'm saying? They would either break up after or before. And if it happened before, then we wouldn't see them in that final rose ceremony situation. Right. Copy? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I see a little issue actually here and just in your point, I'm, 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 a, I'm agreeing with you and piggybacking up your point is like, they give us a little clip of Rachel crying just then, but that was clearly from her breakup with Avon to me. So they're just reusing some oh. stuff here to try to like make things they work. Well, and even the absolutely from Gabby saying, yeah. you, no one can say I'm crazy or whatever. That's the outfit we left this past episode on. All of these are clips yeah. we've seen of Gabby too. So Who's to say we don't start out next week and Eric is like, sorry, my words came out wrong. She's like, we're back together. Okay. Like, right. could be just exactly. done. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the only thing that's interesting about this trailer is that there seems to be some footage of Tino and Rachel post show. So let's take a look at this mm -hmm. clip and see if we can identify what's going on. He said, I want to leave here and I want to date you. She's throwing me under the bus saying all this is lies. She just called it all All I know is rejection. So they, they're still showing the same Gabby and Eric fight that happens, you know, on their date before the potential engagement. This Tino and Rachel fight clearly happens after. What do we think is in this notebook, Allison? Because it, it seems like he he looks so distraught. Do we me. know? Do we know if it happens after? For sure? I mean, I we don't. But I think if you watch the rest of this trailer, it's just kind of obvious that this is in Los Angeles, like not in Mexico. Yeah, his hair okay. is longer as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because I was just wondering like, like maybe time. that was his final like proposal speech. You know, they always give that speech of why they want to propose, that, though, what they've experienced throughout their journey. <laughs> no, but I'm wondering if this is either yeah, yeah. before he proposes or if it is truly afterward. Maybe he's saying like, uh, you know, th he, she's telling me all of this is lies and maybe he's referencing like that's where he wrote his proposal. He still has it. And Terry right now is saying, I think oh, Tino read okay. Rachel's diary. Oh my God, that would Ooh. be dramatic. I Goodness hope so, gracious. Terry. Grab that popcorn and wine, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Read the diary. No, I think that's okay, a we, good we need point. to watch the next. Yeah. We need to watch the next clip mm -hmm. before we can even share because we this house with this random pool, like it's definitely in yeah. Los Angeles. Let's take another look. Okay. You're lying straight to my face. Look me in the eyes and lie to me again. You did say that. You said that. Wow. What? <laughs> okay, wait. Wait, let's just watch one more and give our thoughts because this is... We, let's just watch another one. Keep going. Keep going, George. Keep going. I want to leave here engaged. If he doesn't propose, I'll be devastated. I want an answer for why right you there. did what you did what you mm. did so okay. she's yelling at okay. him okay now i see teased. the context yep i see i see the outfits i see the house now i understand we are no longer in mexico 
And she's and this yeah. is she puts her hands over her face. I don't see a ring. Ooh, right. good good point. She's out. probably not wearing good it. Point you this know? is she's probably this. It's clearly a couple months after because their faces look different. Their hair looks different. Like yeah. and he's grown a little Latino. mustache. <laughs> Yeah, his hair is grown. Her, her makeup is different. He looks exhausted. I kind of have a little theory, actually, now. I think from this conversation on the couch. Okay, okay um, theory. When he said, oh, you see me? When he was like, is, it not, is that not what you said? Or whatever. I think, and then he's holding the notebook, right? What if he wrote kind of in his journal or something, like, oh, Rachel told me that I'm the one and like, we or something i don't know mm. what if it's something like that and she's just like and then yeah like, maybe I, I feel like a lot of people keep journals and diaries during their time in the show just because everything happens so fast and it's hard to remember so definitely and then he yeah. could be referencing that and maybe in other points he's like we're gonna end up together we're soulmates and he's like you're saying that this is all lies right oh so yeah. it, but he's but. he's not mad at her right like it sounds like she's the one that's mad at him exactly but I don't know what right? I don't know like how to piece that together frustrated. though. With they're both frustrated. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. It's hard because even at you know the clip we just saw of them in the backyard, she's like, "You need to explain why you did what you did," and that doesn't really line up with the I don't know the journal thing. There's I don't know, and they keep saying it's controversial. I'm like, okay, I think we're just gonna have to see it, I guess. But I don't know. I, Tino I, has do do? an affair. <laughs> Well, that's Tino what I'm saying. There's, there is some rumors. There's rumors on the internet that Tino, maybe he rekindled things Tino cheats. An it, and then <laughs> it's possible. she's like, lie to me. And he's like, but I love you. And we're still soulmates. And she's like, lie mm. to me one more time. And he whips out his journal. And it's like, Brussels. I am oh. in love. Allison, <laughs> write the script. Or I think... <laughs> Yeah, I think one thing that is weighing on a lot of people as well is could it be the family? You know, that's been a big storyline all season. Did his family never come around? I mean, we know that his dad is still saying things on Facebook last night. So I think that she could have felt like misled that she wasn't as accepted into his family as he promised her. So that could be a potential reason why they are fighting and breaking mm. up. Um, let's watch one more clip and then I want your final thoughts on maybe they can rekindle things. Here's I think he might Love that dress. walk away. I have never felt this blindsided and betrayed. I'm done. I, this is why I love Rachel, because she's so dramatic. Like, she really is <laughs> such good, compelling television, and I'm so fascinated to see what happens with her. So let's have your final thoughts. I mean, what's going to happen? I think... Gabby and Eric, I think, are together. We kind of saw that their only fight in this trailer was that night before. And then I guess Rachel and Tino are going to break up post-show, which was kind of apparent mm -hmm. on her face last night and after the final rose. Like, she was mm -hmm. pissed. She looked pissed. She was not happy to be there. Gabby was smiling. She had her hair all curled. She's doing Dancing with the mm -hmm. Stars rehearsals. Like, this makes me so sad that Rachel put her whole heart into this journey and that it might not work out for her. Yeah, and I think I'm going to take this comment because it kind of goes along with what I was thinking too ever since, Zach, you were talking about the family dynamic of it all. This comment says, Tino's daddy doesn't approve, so he backs out. I mean, that could be, you know, lie to me one more mm -hmm. time. He has said he's been operating on these big grand statements of 100%. They won't be mad at you. They won't be mad at me. They'll come around. They'll see mm -hmm. how much I care about you. They don't understand me in relationships. We don't talk about this kind of stuff. And maybe part of what he had written in that diary is they will come around. I'm so in love with her. I will do everything I can. And maybe the pressures were just too much, but who knows? But I mean, like, I keep if your saying dad that doesn't like the guy. Do you care? <laughs> I mean, it makes things difficult for sure. If you're close to your family, do you want to lose your entire family based on who you're with? Yeah. But that's crazy that his family would like not even try and support Rachel. Like it's crazy that they, if they love their son, that they can't like have his back. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I don't know. I think it's anyone's wild guess. Crystal is saying, you know, maybe Tino is kind of saying, let's take a break. And maybe he met someone else. That would be wild. Um, but I, I don't know. I think maybe, I don't know about the family thing. I think Tino's definitely been operating. Like, I mean, him and his dad don't seem very close, to be honest. So I don't know if he'd actually really care. But yeah, I mean, I do think I agree with Zach. I think that they both get engaged at the at this final ceremony, but I think Tino and Rachel break up. 
I think that maybe Gabby and Eric are still together. I, I think I'm on, I'm on, I'm in the minority that Eric and Gabby aren't like the most iconic. Oh my God. They're so meant to be, they're going to be together forever. I think they're great. I think they're really cute, but I don't yeah. know. They could maybe not be together either, but that's me. Um, but I think I think Gabby definitely looks happier, and she's yeah dancing with the stars. She's got a new thing smiling. Going, so she's like I'm past this. So Rachel's clearly still dealing with the re- with the residue of this season, and that it's tough to see her clearly not happy. So yes, and even if thing, Gabby and Eric are alone. together, oh, no. it doesn't mean that they're gonna like get married or last forever. So I don't know. We'll have yeah. to kind of see what the vibes are next mm-hmm. week when they sit down with Jesse yeah. Palmer and give us like the update on the last few months. Um, but we're definitely going to get some drama with Rachel and it's, it's just sad. Like she just has yeah. gone through so much and she has to end up alone. <laughs> what do you, what do you want to see next for Rachel Allison? I personally think that she should step away from TV, at least for now. I think she should definitely take some time. I mean, it's such an overwhelming experience being the lead. I think she can definitely take time. Maybe she'll meet someone, you know, out of the franchise, out in the wild. But also, I'm not giving up hope completely. She is young. She's only 26. Maybe she takes a a year, two, three to decompress. But maybe then she pulls a Becca Kufrin, goes on the beach, finds someone completely unexpected, and falls madly in love and gets engaged that way. Who knows? I'd be down for that. I would not I would be absolutely opposed be down for, that. for that. Yeah. I mean, and I yeah, would I say, like, Rachel do you think she'll get back together? Do you think mm. she can get back together with Zach or Avon? But I think it was kind of apparent at after the final rose that, you know, she's kind of separated things yeah. with both of them. Because we've seen this before where Ari, you know, he broke up with Becca. There was this huge drama. And then mm-hmm. he got back with Lauren. Um, Hannah Brown yeah. even, you know, was kind of talking to mm-hmm. Tyler Cameron and even Pilot Pete after she split with her pick Jed. So it does seem like yeah. sometimes that happens, but based on after the final rose, Rachel, girl, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. And it just, you know, it just, yeah. it might, it might have Didn't not worked out. out. It just doesn't seem like it worked out. Um, final thoughts, Kayla? Yeah. I mean, I, I think Rachel, just to, just to cap it off on a, on a good note, I think, you know, Rachel's not the the villain that we should make her out to be. I think she just has a lot of room to grow. And I think maybe watching this season back, she'll really just, you know, see a lot of a lot of things to grow in and, and to work on. And, and also just maybe be able to unpack this whole season. And I think um, even, even though next week might be tough to go through with the live show and having to talk to Tino if they're not together, Oof. I think that, you know, it's going to be t- it's gonna be tough but i think it's you know i think this is a new journey that both of these girls are going to be embarking on after this and so i'm excited to see what happens after this crazy season <laughs> we're, we're just happy it's over guys it started in july it is september Ooh, and not even that we had four months year. building up to this season because we had that four month yeah. break from clayton season so we were talking about them i literally remember being like 50 days until Gabby and Rachel season 49 (laughs) days and like literally it came and it was dragged out it it was and now we're going right into paradise so we're just so happy for a resolution Allison final words final thoughts for next week are you ready to wrap up this season We are. I'm ready to wrap up this panel. I'm ready to wrap up this season. I'm ready to just be done. You said it best. I mean, thank God we had this few month break before this season started. But this season, for as much as we harped about, oh, we don't have enough time. There's two bachelorettes. We have enough time. Let's be done. We could have been done a week or two ago. Wrap it up and give me the drama that I want. And then let's be done. Period. Popcorn. We'll be back next week. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Let us know your predictions. All love to Rachel Tino. Um, Gabby and Eric, we're hoping to get two happy couples. We'll see what happens. Like this video. Subscribe before you go. Follow our socials. I'm Zachary Reality with Allison Van Dam and Kayla Thompson. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming on live with us. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.